Well, I had a bunch of work to do with my plants this morning in the 75 gallon planted tank with my bomb magenta plants. I'm taking the tops off and transplanting some of them. These I've taken about six inches off the tops. I've removed the bottom branches and I will uh, take them by hand, about three of them. Over here, open the tank. I've already washed my hands and arm and reach down to the bottom of the tank, push the stems about two inches through the sand into the substrate. And I have a couple more over here. These three, I've left the roots on the bottom. So I pull them out by the roots. And these will grow, these will take off a lot faster. I grab these, reach down in here, push the same thing, deep into the substrate, straighten them up. Close the tank because I had hatchet fish in here and shrimp and they're jumpers. I don't want them getting out. They wipe off the tank and uh, put my Hager light back on so you can see what I'm doing. Get it set back up. I have two of them on this tank and uh, I've also taken out my Reno moss balls. So I plan on rejuvenating those. Take my camera off the tripod. We get a little closer here. And when I put those plants in, I'm gonna make sure I get them. You see, you can see my little one of my little albino cores is already over there. And they will go around the base of these plants when they're cleaning the tank. And if you don't put them deep enough into the substrate, they'll uproot them and they have so. And that was pushed down. The ones that I took off, took the top of the plants off, they grow roots really quickly. And these plants can grow over 40 inches in length. And they grow really fast. They pull a lot of ammonia and nitrates out of this tank, convert them. Take a lot of energy to grow these plants. And uh, under these lights, they like I said, they grow. They grow like 40 inches and they do flower on the tops if you let them um, float along the tops. You can also use these as floating plants. They'll grow roots. Um, and under more, a little bit more intense lights, you'll get these colors. Magenta, reddish pink. In the past when I've done this, I was going to uh, go my have my wife uh, offer some of these for free on Facebook and of course there's so many experts somebody on there claimed that they were invasive and against the law that's not this species at all so I'm not gonna be doing that and uh, you can quickly double the amount of plants in your aquarium using these this is one of the first plants I got take the tops off and replant those and you can uh, when you cut the tops off if you leave the ones the roots the stem with the root in it leave that planted and just cut it off above the top branch at the height you want it um, they will make side shoots and continue to grow There's a little pond snail The shrimp on him and uh, I said it's a, it's a very inexpensive way to end up with a lot of plants and um, just by transplanting them like this I also took the time I mentioned before I was gonna take my moss balls out of here I've taken those out taking them to the sink rinsed them out and I rubbed them around on my hand a little bit to keep the round shape there's a little there's clean water in here it's cold water and a little bit of dechlorinator so I'm going to take them and put them in the fridge 
for a couple of days. They like the cold temperature. It rejuvenates them, recharges them. And uh, so that's, they're gonna be going into the fridge here just when I'm done with this video. And um, I wanna thank any of my return viewers and especially my subscribers. I've already gotten a few of those with just about four or five videos uploaded. I thank every one of you from the bottom of my heart. But everybody has a wonderful day. I have some new videos in mind. Um, one on the top.